Hi everyone and welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I'm here to explain Cambridge IGCC ICT 2021 October November Paper 3 web page part. So here they mentioned you are going to create a web page and style sheet to promote recycling plastic waste. The web page and style sheet must work in any browser. So you need to create a folder called plastic. So we will create a folder with the name called plastic. That's it. And then look at the following files and store them into your plastic folder. So I have the files here and I will choose only the files which I need for this one they are only seven of them just close this one go to your folder called plastic and paste it over there now you have them now next step is to create in your folder plastic folder a web page called plastic so here is the web expression application new web page and i'm going to call it plastic so we'll go to desktop our folder called plastic save your web page there and then you need to create one table structure which will look like this so right now it has three columns and four rows so insert a table with three column two columns three columns and four rows done then you need to merge the first three cells right click merge them and then you need to merge these two cells right click modify and merge them and then the next two as well you need to merge them merge and here you need to merge these three together right click modify and merge cells this is how it will look like now the height of this cell is going to be 15 percent so cell property height 15 apply and okay then the width of this one is going to be 60 percent and height 45 so modify in percentage width 60 percent and height 45 percent apply and okay and then after the height of this one is going to be 20 percent only Yes, in percentage 20, apply and OK. And then the last two, they must be 30% wide and 20% high. These two, 30 and 20. So the width is 30 and the height is 20. Apply and OK. The structure is ready now. Each table cell is identified with a letter some dimensions are shown they must set these percentage values and not in pixels we have done cell content shown in diagram must not appear means the letters they mean and table border must not appear on the final web page fine so in this cell a we need to insert an image of a banner so picture from file and we'll go to desktop plastic and banner and this is for example i will just call it banner the alternate text next step is to move forward b a placeholder to f in cell b we need to include a video called n21beach.mp4 Display an automated text based error 
message if does not support this video type so what you need to do is here in cell b this is our cell b insert here a file from media and let's check all the files yeah n21 beach dot mp4 insert the image and then right click active x control properties and then object tag the alternate representation you just type here the text your browser does not support this video file type click on apply and ok and then after you just need to click right click on the ActiveX properties and just check the parameters yeah the height and width it is mentioned here so you can just simply change it later on to 100% from the code as well to fill the width of the uh, cell okay so simply you just mention here that this is your object and the video with the width of 100% just like that and then here height we don't need height you just remove it that's all yes now let's go back to design view now this is how it will look like and then next step is to go to cell c and insert the image n21 borders so cell c is here this is our cell c so we go back here to cell c yes here insert a picture and then we call it button uh, image of a button just click on ok image is inserted next step in cell E the image n21 plastic so in cell E now This is your cell E. Insert an image and this time is plastic. So you just call it plastic. And then here in the next cell, insert the image of show. Show just click on ok it is all done now what you need to do is place inline style attribute into the HTML so that each image fit the width of the table cell with its aspect ratio maintained so now these things you have to check for each cell so we will begin with each and every cell now like let's go back to the coding now let's begin with the top yeah so this is your banner image here so we need to remove the height from here and you just need to mention the width so the width we are going to mention here this width 100% Yeah, we just simply mention here style equal to width and then we just mention here 100% 
and remove this width we don't need this one that's it it is done for this one then moving forward to the next one here we have also mentioned about the width 100% and this one is okay we have already mentioned now the image of the bottle as well just mention here style equal to width and then just mention here 100 percent then remove the rest yeah and height also you remove it we don't need the height yeah next for this one as well plastic and show so here simply you mention style equal to width then here is 100 percent so just remove these ones and the height as well and then here remove the height and then include the style equal to width then 100 percent and then remove this one that's all so all the content is now according to the style yeah that's it now go back to design this is how it is going to be now next step is to place in cell d the content of the file n21 plastic dot txt so let's go to the last cell You have to enter the content now. Before this, I would like to preview it in the web browser. So, to check if we have entered the picture and element into the correct cells. yes i guess so now in cell d we will enter the content from the file n21plastic.txt so we'll open this file and we'll copy all the data from here and then you will just paste it over here and now we need to change display this text as three paragraphs so we need to display this one as three paragraphs just like that and then next step is to add as a fourth paragraph the text website last updated by followed by your name center number and candidate number fourth paragraph then your name center number and then candidate number that's all and then apply h2 style to it select this all and apply h2 that's it and then attach the style sheet n21 plastic.css to your web page so attach a style sheet click on browse and then attach your style sheet the one they have mentioned n21 plastic this is how it will look like and now display the HTML source of your web page in your editor and then take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document so just go to code okay, copy this all from here 
and this is your evidence 3. That's all. Display your web page in the web browser. If necessary, resize it so that all the page can be seen, all the text can easily be read, and then the address bar is visible. So just go here, click on save, and refresh your web browser to show with the content. Now the video is not supported here. So if the video is not supported, the content should be clearly visible. So for this one, you can just display it like this with the content or with the video as well. As our video is not uh, playing here, it means something is wrong with our video. So let's check the code. So in the code here, it says object. So if we just try to change here this code, I think it will be it will be fine, I guess. So we just simply uh, go to change this one instead of object. We'll mention here video. And this video, the width is going to be 100%. Hundred percent, and then we just remove this one, height, and these ones. Here, yes, this all we are going to remove, and we can just simply say here remove this one, and then it's going to be auto play means it will repeat again and again then loop and then here in this one file name we just mention here source then src equal to the name of your video n21 beach and then it is dot mp4 that's it and the type is a video file so this one we don't need it you simply remove this one and then right here type equal to video slash mp4 and that's it and then the error message that you want so we just played you can write and this one object you just remove it and write type here video that's it and uh, in between you also type that your browser does not support this video file type that's it and then try to check if everything is okay with your web browser here and just click on save and refresh your web browser if it is displaying the content yes it is here now video content is here now you take reduce the height yes just like that and cross check if all the content are fully visible just like this
yeah and then you can just simply take the screenshot of your your work print screen and then just go to your evidence evidence document and this is your evidence form and let's place this one crop it just to reduce this one that's it and also you need to change your this code now and to include the correct code now click here code copy this one and then just paste it here so that's all from the web page part of this question paper and then you have to print the evidence document hope you have learned how to deal with the web pages and how you have, can include the inline style sheets thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates